Who's the NHS? Our NHS! 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 have come out on strike today and previously is because we care and we want to give good quality care to our patients. What a disgrace that we have to come out and shout like this in this temperature. We should be inside and take care of our patients like it's our job. The reason we are standing out here is because of our patients. Because we, every day, experience the lack of staffing, the lack of support, and the lack of quality care that we are intending to give is not being given inside there. I trained here in 1975. Little did I know at 66 years of age that I'd need to come out on the streets to defend our beloved NHS, the most precious institution in our country. Ten years ago, the NHS was the best healthcare system on the planet. And look what they've done to it. We are among the worst in Europe now. They have starved the NHS of 400 billion pounds. They have closed over 100 A&E departments, eliminated 25,000 hospital beds, delivered a nightmare social care crisis, cut our pay by 30%. is what our hospital may look like if they don't start to recruit the 47,000 nurses who we've lost. 500 people are now dying every week because of delays accessing emergency care. 500 people. The reason why people are dying is 132,000 staff vacancy. No ifs, no buts, no NHS cuts, no ifs. settled all these strikes within one week, all the NHS strikes in one week, but they chose not to. It's a political choice. So what is their agenda? It's privatisation. They've been hammering that since the 80s with Thatcher, since she cut beds and closed hospitals, down to Lansley and the integrated care systems, where now it's mandatory to have a representative from the private sector on every tendering board. So they don't care about the NHS. All they do is introduce these bloody anti-strike laws. They dare to talk about minimal service requirements. Where the hell were they during the past 12 years when we needed minimal service requirements? I know that strikes win. In 1988, I got a 20% pay rise. My friends, my friends got 40% pay rise to go from a staff nurse to an F grade. We are doing the right and the decent thing in asking for help in order to keep this NHS alive! have tripled in length. In 2010, over 95% of those visiting A&E were seen within four hours. Today, it's 
In December 2020 alone, long ambulance and emergency department wait times resulted in 2,200 excess deaths. Maternity services are in crisis and our midwives are broken. We are short of over 2,000 midwives. Over half of current midwives are considering leaving their job. 29 out of 30 student midwives trained in the NHS don't go into the profession, but leave with a debt of £40,000. 39% of maternity units require improvement. Around 30,000 people a year suffer post-traumatic stress disorder during their birth experience. Black and ethnic minority women die disproportionately more in childbirth than their white counterparts. Suicide is still the leading cause of death for all women and birthing people in the perinatal period. I'm here now because of you. In March 2020, you guys put me into an induced coma for 40 days. The care that you gave me kept me alive because I could have gone at any time. And then when I came out of that coma, physiotherapists, occupational therapists and nurses taught me how to stand up and how to walk. And it's why I'm here today to support you. Our collective health is dependent on the safeguards that this government has abdicated responsibility for. How do you expect someone to keep in firm health for this winter period if they can't heat their homes, put food on their table, can't even put a roof over their heads? We need to start seeing the economy as something that is living, made of vital organs. And us workers, we're the blood, the oxygen that keeps them running. Supporting our fellow workers in their struggle all of us benefit. Comrades, you've got the solidarity from right across the fire service, from firefighters and members of the Fire Brigade Union. We've seen in our industry what you're seeing in yours. Underfunding, cuts, longer response times and the strangulation of our pay. Firefighters are likely to take strike action in February. Your strike is advancing our cause. We've got to stand together. We've got to form a united front against this government. I have a message to my party too. I don't want to hear about NHS reform as a code word of keeping privatisation. I want to hear NHS reform as a commitment to restoring our NHS to a fully publicly owned, free at the point of use and open to all service. We want to see a Save Our NHS national demonstration on par with the big anti-war demonstrations of the past. We need to see hundreds of thousands, if not millions, on the streets. To all NHS workers, know your value, know your strength in organising with your colleagues and in your union. Channel your rage at this government and don't lose it, because together we can win. Tax so pay the bill.